What up, everybody? Ray here. Welcome to my channel. Today we got in the sci-fi block from Nerd Block Company. Oh, I know it's kind of itchy. So, this box has been fairly decent. Um, something that kind of bothers me, though, is I want to say I think every box, I got to look back, I think every box for sci-fi block has had a Star Wars item in it. And it's like, there's just so many things you could do in a sci-fi box that to include Star Wars into every item is just kind of getting old. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I got to look back at all of them, but I know, I'm pretty sure last month I got one. And the month before that was, of course, Star Wars themed. And I think the month before that, which was their first one, I don't know, I got to look back, but I, it seems like they got, they've always had a Star Wars in it. It's irritating. They got one in this one. And it's just irritating to me because there's just so many things out there that you can go. They, they're limiting themselves to just a certain area of items. And there's just so many things that you could do. You know, you could do like uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Go back to the old stuff. You know, like old uh, Japanese sci-fi stuff like Godzilla and Ultraman or something like that or um, do like Farscape or uh, I think they did Battlestar Galactica but I mean you gotta expand expand it out reach out farther grab some more stuff you know bring some stuff that people probably forgot about or haven't seen in a while or something you know there's just a ton of sci-fi things that's what I thought this box was gonna be about but so far it's been Star Trek Star Wars with a couple other things basically Star Wars theme so I don't know, hopefully it gets better I'm just um kind of disappointed in it. I had high hopes but anyways let's get into this box so we can start with the Star Wars theme thing even though I usually do t-shirts and actually the t-shirt is actually Star Wars too but, um, so they send you a, a beanie with the pom-pom and it's a stormtrooper so that and then you got the t-shirt and it's Star Wars theme. right yeah brain's not working right now so that part of me yeah that's what I thought it was a symbol from Star Wars and I couldn't remember for some reason Rebels so yeah so I really didn't buy this box for a Star Wars box but that's what we seem to be getting the last couple months for sure so it's all right I mean I'm not I don't love Star Wars I like it but I don't love it but it always seems like it's Star Wars and then everything else so here's everything else so we got Yondu as a pop from Guardians of the Galaxy I I don't think I got this one I can't remember I have to look but you know yeah it's it's kind of prevalent but I mean they got a second one coming out so it's neat I like it I like Guardians of the Galaxy but it's you know it's sci-fi block and there's just so many things that you're just missing out on by sticking with the same little narrow scope of things that you think everybody just wants to stick into I think it's nice to can't expand and bring other things in but again this is all my opinion maybe you guys love it because you love Star Wars that much I don't know and then we got a uh, reaction figure Ripley in her spacesuit which I believe I've got pretty much yeah but that's okay they don't know that that's not their fault and the last thing is sci-fi block exclusive which is a little notebook but it's supposed to be like a Star Trek um, what do you call it signal device where you they always flip it open and talk on it it's neat but it's just a little notebook I don't know what am I going to do this thing I call this filler but it's actually this is considered a exclusive item for sci-fi block I don't know I mean it's neat you get your little thing there that they used to if you ever watch a show and they'd always flip it open Kirkwood and then you talk into it but uh, it's a notebook. 
I don't know, I'm just kind of disappointed because it's always seeming like, like I say, it's always Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. There's just so many things I'd love to see in one of these boxes that just doesn't get taken care of. It's old stuff, old school stuff. Bring some of that back. There's other things out there that people that don't even aren't even aware of that you can bring in and see if they like. If they don't like it, well, then that's just the way it goes. You know, you can't always have the great box that everybody loves. Like this one, I, I just don't like it. I'm tired of it. I'm just getting all Star Wars out, to be honest with you. I've never been a, a lover of Star Wars. I like it. It's an interesting show, but I'm not. That's me, again. So it's getting pricey anyways. I'm not tired lately. I don't know why. Just getting tired of the same old stuff, I guess. So, t-shirt. Good, bad, ugly. 12 bucks. Um, the old pop. He's just a basic character. Nothing special about him. Not exclusive or anything. So he's like 10 bucks. Of the uh, reaction figures. Um, these ones you can actually get really cheap now. But, like I always say, I always use the starter price, the original price. So it's like $8, $9. You keep buying for them. The old beanie, the hat. I'm always surprised by these because it's just a hat. Yeah, it's got stormtroopers on it, and it's it's labeled because it's Disney. And it's Star Wars, Lucas Films, and stuff. So they like overcharge you. I just hate that. So this thing's like 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, it's just a stocking hat with a palm on it, which I would never wear. I'd probably cut that thing off. But, I mean, it's a stocking hat. Why is it worth $15, $20? There's, it's not that special, really. It's just a regular... I don't know. It's because it's labeled. I know. I understand. It's because it's labeled, so they're going to charge you more. But it, it, I just hate that. It just sucks. But, whatever. It's the way it goes. So, $15 to $20, depending on where you buy it. And then we've got the notebook. I mean... We pay 50 cents for these little baby notebooks, but Star Wars branded, or Star Trek branded, sorry. Star Wars stuck on my head. Star Trek branded, and well, it says it's exclusive, but on their card, but it doesn't say it on here. Usually they get that wrote on here. So, I don't know how exclusive it is. But again, does it really matter? It's just a, a little cheap notebook. That'd be cool if you're in school or something. You can flip this out, Star War or Star Trek, everybody. But it's a common man, yeah. So I'll put it a buck. So I'll give you on that one. So that being said, according to the little card, um, your pop you could have got Yandu or the Collector, and then uh, for your action figure you could have got any four of the ones on the back of this one. So, just seeing if there's anything else on here. Yeah, I mean, it says that this, the notepad is exclusive, but it doesn't, it's not wrote on there, which it usually is, so that's kind of strange. So, but whatever. So, anyways, your price is right around 50 55 bucks for all that, once you pile it all together, which is what the Nerd Block companies usually give you except for comic book but that's a different story so they're staying right with their thing and it costs about 20 25 dollars depending on your shipping and your shirt size if they send you a shirt they don't always send you a shirt although i don't think i've ever not gotten a shirt have i no. yeah no. so as always bigger shirt size more money so you're getting almost double value well you're getting double value plus so it's always good. That's the good thing about nerd pop companies. They always give you right around 50 bucks worth of value, which is pretty cool. So it's awesome. So anyways, I'm just kind of getting tired of Star Wars. So. Maybe I'm just getting it shoved down my throat too much. So the next one they got coming up, another Star Wars. At least you got Doctor Who, but again, I mean, you're, you're limiting yourself to a small genre of stuff. When there's so many things that you could do for a sci-fi block instead of a Star Wars box with other things in it. <laughs> that's basically what it seems like. So that's what you get for the next one. 
So anyways, so leave me some comments. Tell me what you thought, what you like, what you didn't like, what you think of that. You know, are you just getting tired of Star Wars or do you just love Star Wars that much that you want Star Wars all the time? I don't know. Some people probably do. I don't. But like and unlike and subscribe. See what we got coming up next. You never know. And until next time, that's all we got. So thank you.